Hello everybody, welcome back. Today's another uh, Segway video, specifically the app. Let's see if I can show you guys. I've been noticing a lot of people having questions about certain things on this app. For example, this feature here, energy recovery level. Sorry, it's hard to see on this, but uh, that's what that is, energy recovery level. Now what that is, is when you're cruising, not hitting the power, or not in cruise control, but when you're cruising, let's say downhill or, or whatnot, then uh, it, it's supposed to regenerate better, uh, power back to the battery. I currently have it on weak, but if you just click on it, you can choose weak, medium, or strong. I wish you guys were able to see this, this devices and all that great for this kind of stuff. So it's it's weak, medium, and strong. I usually keep it on, on medium. There's also a cruise control feature. You hold down the gas for, or I don't want to call it a gas, but you hold down the power button for a while, and after a few seconds of the same speed, it'll activate cruise control, so you can just let go and hold on safely. You can also scroll to the left, and you'll see you got mileage. I've got 949 miles on this unit. Shows you your battery level, the temperatures. You can even... Uh, modify the lights just by hitting this uh, that button up there which would be settings you can mess with the lights there do the speed controls um, check for firmware change the units from uh, kilometers to miles your battery health and uh, the writer, new writer tutorial there's also a lock function, put it on that, and if, let's say you left it out outside of a store or you just parked it somewhere real quick, if, somebody, if you locked it and somebody grabs it, it'll beep and vibrate and none of the functions will work, no buttons or nothing will work. Now there's also, let me shut this one off because... Uh, you can't activate two units on one at the same time. So let me turn this one on, show you a couple features on that. So you just hit the, the Segway app. Again, I apologize for the video quality. All right, once it's in there again, it shows you your battery level. You have the lock function. So if you park it inside of a store or something, somebody grabs it, it's going to do that. They can't move it or anything. It just sits there and vibrates and beeps. Now this one, you can also change the lights. Now the Bluetooth connectivity, that's just a remote control function. I'll show you. Yeah, I'm pretty much controlling it. My driveway is at an angle. I apologize. There's also a speed limiter for that. That way you can limit the speed and stuff like that. Now if you hit the settings, it'll do the same thing where you can work the lights, the sensors, uh, the, put it into go-kart mode if you have a go-kart kit for it. And again, firmwares and new rider tutorials. And if you're riding along, you can click the screen and you can see you can see through the app this way you don't stumble and run over anything now the main thing about today's video is going to be the me function or activating or uh, registering the unit to the app normally when you first get it you can download the app through your your app store or uh, on the box of the unit there'll be a QR code you can scan 
But once you're all in there, you hit that me section. And you'll have all these other little features. You have your notifications, your my your MySpace. That's not the, the website, that's just your comments and stuff. And as you can see, I only got two units. Those are my two scooters that are currently registered on the app. I'm gonna show you guys how to activate that. I wish I wish it wasn't so bad on this. But uh You'll see the medals. I keep telling people I, I get questions in the uh, if you hit fan moments. This is an area where people can post pictures and ask questions and you know I mean share their experience of the units. But in here, I've been noticing people asking me about what certain features are like how to get medals. Well, medals are based on your miles, just like your levels here. Your N5. This says I'm an N5. Even though I've got three units well over the mileage. Like if I hit the metals, it'll show you I'm up to gold and it only takes 1,000 kilometers to travel to get gold, but it also takes that to get the platinum, which I don't have. Between my three units, I've got almost 3,000, 2,000 miles. And it still hasn't given me any of these metals. So it's, it's all in just riding it. If you're having it, if you're having issues, with the app uh, reading your mileage you're just gonna have to shut it off uh, close the app a couple times you'll hear that it, it beat there rescan you know you do that or you can just log in and out here in the settings you see where you can log in and out you just got to do that while you're riding throughout throughout your ride and uh, eventually it'll it'll read the mileage make sure your GPS is on make sure you're signed in and make sure your unit is logged into the app and logged in I mean like I said if you click on your icon if you haven't set up a picture it'll be blank and you'll scroll down it'll you'll see a a feature called identification and you'll see view and manage you click on that and you'll see I have my other two scooters and it's asking me to unbind. Now if you're buying one used and the, uh, the last owner hasn't unbinded, then I, I have, I'd suggest you have them do that. But at, at this moment I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to verify and bind, and, uh, and, and bind uh, the Mini Pro. So what I got to do... It's going to do it through my email because the phone number part isn't exactly working. It is a glitchy app. So you just have it send you a code. And at the bottom of the app, it'll tell you whether it's successful or not. Okay. And for some reason, it sends it into my spam. So let me get into my email. No. The code is 786391. So you go back to the app. Seven eight six three nine one. And then you hit identify. And there it is. That's how you get the the unit to the app. If you remember earlier I showed you that in my uh in the MySpace it only had the two units. But now I have three. So now the app knows that I've got three of these devices onto the app so it should be reading mileage and, and stuff like that but if you're having trouble gaining metals it's just a matter of riding it like i said activate your gps activate you gotta make sure it's signed in make sure you're logged in see sometimes it has a trouble logging in so you just gotta do that anyway Change it this unit, I got 477 miles. See how at the bottom it said uh, mileage successful? That was just from logging in and out. I didn't even move the unit. So it's it, it just read some miles that I had. So if you're having troubles with metals or just ranking up, that's pretty much what you got to do. Just log in and out. 
make sure that uh, your GPS is on, that you're signed in, and that your, log, your, your unit is activated in the app. And that's how you get your medals, and that's how you rank up your levels here. Now, these end coins, they're useless here in the United States. I don't know about any other parts of the, of the planet. I'm sure China. See, I just went to some Chinese writing. But it doesn't really, uh, doesn't really do anything for us here. So it's just, it's just a novelty for us. Alright guys, that's about it for this video. Please subscribe, like, and comment down there in the bottom if you have any questions about the app or any of these units. Um, I'm asking for subscriptions because I, I have my ES2. This is an ES4 with the external battery. My ES2 doesn't have that. But I'm having issues with my brake lights on that, so I'm going to tear it down and, and do a diagnostic on those. Hopefully it's just these because it was 18 bucks for the pair. But if you have any questions or if, if you have any information about these things that could be helpful to other people, comment down there at the bottom. I appreciate you guys' time. Thank you for coming. Be safe. Have fun with these. And be nice to each other. Thank you.